uh, the person who perhaps uh, decides uh, uh, the swing in the markets, one of the biggest investors, whether it's uh, equities or bonds, uh, like I told you, SK Roy, Chairman LIC, is joining us. Uh, uh, good morning, Mr. Roy. Thank you very much uh, for joining us this morning. Let me begin by uh, checking out finances at uh, LIC itself. What has been the premium collection in the life business and uh, what's the target? How is the performance compared to last year? We have a target for a growth of 10% uh, for the year and uh, is, uh, in, uh, we in, the, in the current year we have so far reached approximately 7% growth which means that uh, we are likely to close the year with a growth of more than 10%. Okay. Uh, can you give us a sense of what is the new money that is coming to LIC by way of uh, new premium collection? You see, in our uh, various lines of business, mm. we uh, have uh, we are now uh, touching uh, approximately 10,000 crores of uh, first premium. And uh, how much are you collecting by way of investments uh, into equities? Investments, uh, actually, uh, I wouldn't be able to share with you the exact uh, figures. But uh, out of our targeted uh, approximately 50,000 crores that we intend to invest in the equity market this year, uh, the target that, that we had given ourselves for the first quarter, we have achieved that target. Oh, okay. Uh, your over, overall target, you said, is 60,000 crore. What was the first quarter target and how much did you invest? Uh, no, that, is, uh, that figure uh, I would uh, not be in a position to share with you at this moment. But uh, uh, the, the may, there, there is an increase in inflow of approximately uh, 10 to 12 percent on uh, uh, the investments in the capital markets. Yes. But I won't be able to share the exact figures with you. All right, fair enough. Let's get your view in the markets uh, then. Uh, uh, generally, are you in investment mode or do you think markets have run up uh, a little ahead of expectations? No, but I believe that a large number of analysts have, are still holding the view that uh, uh, better days are yet to come. So I, uh, uh, I don't see any reason why uh, uh, your reservations uh, I should uh, agree with. Uh, that's, that's not what uh, the general uh, expectation from the market is. Well, I'm just going by the way the earnings season have uh, panned out, uh, at least the, what we got in the last few days. What, what is your view on the earnings season that has just concluded and what do you make of how they will perform uh, earnings growth? No, you, you see, it, it, it depends upon what expectations we keep uh, in, 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 a, in a month or in a quarter or in that type of time frame. Uh, we strongly believe that... Uh, uh, the, the, the good days are going to continue for, and uh, definitely better days uh, will, will also come. Certainly look like you are in investment mode, you are bullish certainly uh, on the economy that is. Uh, uh, Mr. Roy, what are the sectors uh, that you are bullish on now? Yeah, uh, we continue to be very positive on the banking and financial sector. Uh, we are uh, looking at metals, uh, we are looking at FMCG. Uh, so, uh, some uh, options in the FMCG sector. So uh, uh, we are uh, very positive on IT. So uh, these are the sectors that which uh, uh, we are uh, very uh, confident and positive about. Okay. Uh, since you said FMCG and sectors like that, won't uh, the uh, monsoon worry you? I'll, I'll say that we are now less worried about it because the deficit which was uh, likely to be in the month of June uh, has been mitigated to a large extent by good uh, rains in the month of July and as uh, today's uh, 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 assessment it is uh, deficit is down to 18 percent. So I think uh, this is uh, July has been a good month. Okay, uh, so your uh, take on the economy, I mean if the uh, agri sector is going to contribute, you think a 6 percent uh, GDP growth is not impossible this year? No, I don't want to uh, stick my neck out on uh, any any uh, guesstimates on that. But uh, overall, as far as the economy is concerned, we are very positive about uh, uh, about the current financial year. On that, there is no doubt. Okay, as a big bond investor, I'm sure your concern, or uh, your reading of the RBI would be very close. What is the cue you have on rate uh, hike or rate cut? What comes next? 
difficult for me to uh, to guess uh, uh, the, which way uh, the decision will go. But uh, I think uh, the matrix has been well laid out. So I don't see that there is a, a great scope for uh, confusion on that because uh, it has uh, been clarified on more than one occasion that inflation and rates uh, will be seen um, uh, together. So I, I don't see that there is scope for any great surprise on that front. Okay, uh, well, the market at least is divided, so one half is going to be surprised. Uh, let me come to other issues as, uh, about you as a very big investor in many companies. You know, a lot of corporate governance issues have cropped up uh, uh, in companies like Maruti, of course, it got resolved, and then in Cessa, uh, that got answered a bit. Are, are you in a mold now to take up these issues with any of the companies? Yeah, this, we, this is a part of our standard procedure that uh, if we have a concern as an investor in a, in a, in a specific company, uh, uh, as per our standard procedure, we will take up that, uh, our concerns with the company. And companies have always responded to our concerns. And uh, uh, we are doing that now and uh, we will continue to do that in the future also as and when uh, the uh, circumstances necessitate uh, our uh, uh, um, asking uh, the right types of questions and getting the right types of answers. Have you asked any questions to CESA on the loans that they have given to their parent company? No, we are still we are still engaging. Uh, I don't want to I, actually I don't want to comment about any specific company. But uh, all I can say is that uh, it, our uh, uh, our intention is uh, that uh, our concerns should be addressed, and uh, we will continue to pursue the matter with all entities wherever need may arise in future, till our uh, concerns are addressed. I, I don't want to answer questions about any specific company. Okay, let me pick up another issue. Since you are a veteran of the financial sector space, uh, do you think PSU banks are now exposed to more stress, uh, uh, you know, uh, while deciding about their assets, uh, especially post the syndicate bank issue? See, uh, not fair on my part to comment upon uh, on uh, our colleagues in the in the banking sector but see i mean let us uh, uh, we, we we are we must be clear that uh, uh, the universal belief is that once the economy turns around the npa levels uh, would uh, gradually start coming down and i think the green shoots are already there when we have seen the results of the first quarter of the current year, there has been a reduction in NPAs of, 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 of lenders and I think this is, the, uh, uh, the, this is the expectation that everybody has from the economy. Okay. Uh, well, uh, again, since you're a big player in uh, stocks and bonds, what's the view on the currency itself? See, uh, see these are, uh, these are uh, uh, blips that may happen, uh, but uh, I think the consensus is that uh, there is an element of stability uh, on the currency front. I don't, uh, I, I mean, I have no reason to have any concerns that uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, this is an, uh, an area which may uh, need further, atten I mean, a special attention uh, at any time in the, in the future. I think there is, there is an element of stability. There could be blips uh, uh, at, p mm. at some periodic levels. But I, I think the underlying uh, sentiment is that uh, there is stability on that front. Okay. Uh, I'm sure your equity portfolio has given you a decent amount of returns. Uh, uh, would you want to change your asset uh, allocation uh, for the remaining months? What, how would it move? No, that is part of our... Now, that is part of our normal process because we keep on churning our portfolio. So uh, that would be a continuous process. They, it would not be subject to uh, any uh, any specific uh, events which we, which would have happened. Mm. Okay. Uh, finally, Mr. Roy, as a stra strategy at this point in time, would you like to keep on adding to your existing investments? Or uh, have you lately, uh, lately, say in the past couple of months, picked up any new investments? Uh, uh, we gravitate towards the towards the larger stocks. Okay. And uh, uh, there is, a, if the existing investment is giving us good returns, and the headroom is available for that company, 
I, I feel that that makes a very good uh, business sense to uh, increase investments in, in, in those companies. Uh, there are many comfort uh, factors operating. Uh, we would have a long association with the company. Uh, we would be having a very good idea about the corporate governance of the company. We would be having a very good idea about the, uh, about the business plan and uh, the plans for the future of the company. So in that sense, uh, continuity would be a very good idea. All right, uh, uh, Mr. Roy, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much for joining us with your thoughts uh, on all asset markets and economy issues.